In today's video of challenge, we take a variety of modern helicopters to the skies to see how well it can do against a swarm of biplanes famously used around the 1930s, equipped with many types of aircraft ripping machine guns, compared to the 30mm, 200 to 800 round per minute firing turrets modern helicopters have along with a variety of AGM missile and rocket types. Will biplanes make a comeback, or will today's helicopter tech give them something to shake about? Today, we find out. Now, a real quick mention from our sponsor. If you enjoy games with great graphics, RPG adventure, and a way to develop your champion, download Raid Shadow Legends, a completely free game available both on your mobile phone and PC. Use my link below or the QR code to start diving into the game right now. Raid has something for everyone. I don't just want to get good at the game, I want to be the best at it. Luckily, Raid's got loads of regular tournaments and events that'll allow you to compete against other players to prove you're the best. There's always a new challenge to conquer and not only will you see your name at the top of the leaderboard, but you'll get ton of in-game rewards for winning. It's good to be the king. There's constantly new types of events and different tournament rules to think about, meaning you've got to be developing new strategies to come out on top. There's always some new achievement to be working towards, which is something I really value, especially when I can pick up and play Raid almost anywhere. Right now, Raid's got something extra special happening. They've released a legendary champion based off MMA, a pro wrestling legend, Ronda Rousey. You can get Ronda for free right now, just by logging into Raid. All you've got to do is log in and play Raid for 7 days between now and February 28th, and Ronda is yours. To celebrate Ronda's rival in Raid, use the special promo code Raid Ronda and get a bunch of helpful stuff perfect for leveling your Ronda up so she's at the top of her game. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get your exclusive rewards in Raid right now. But there's more! New players, there's never been a better time to get started. Use my link or scan the QR code right here and get a free starter pack almost worth $30 a free champion Tyrell, and also this cool in-game loot. You will find these rewards in your inbox for the next 30 days only. Thank you so much Raid Shadow Legends, and back to our video. We'll be doing two rounds with limited ammo. First, where our claimed to be experienced heli participants said possibly 20 biplanes could be done in the KA-52, one of the most OP helis from what I understand in War Thunder. After which, in our last round of chaos, we'll see a mystery amount of a variety of modern helicopters against 30 biplanes. Let's see how round one goes. In using the thermal vision, our participant can start to see the swarm of biplanes coming toward him. How difficult it can be to see the planes, I've turned on markers in some instances to help see where the planes are trying to engage from during the helicopter's attack. One going along the bridge here gets taken out by the first missile as we start to see more coming up from right underneath, blending in with the ground. One flying up high, tries to dodge, goes down for a steep nose dive to get away from the missile. <laughs> and no luck there. Two down so far with the KA-52 having 8 AAM and 12 AGM missiles, he'll have just enough to take down each biplane if he doesn't miss, in which if he does, he still has his 30 millimeter autocannon. With how quickly the planes are approaching and my limited knowledge around how to play helicopters since I do more ground battles in War Thunder, I didn't know if he could have kept himself reversing backwards and attack at the same time to help keep that distance between him and the planes. But let's see how the rest goes.
getting it real close. He's able to dodge the first engagement, but the helicopters don't have the speed as the plane does, which could put him at a risk in this close of an engagement. Ending the first round with only 4 kills out of the 20 compared to what our experienced helicopter player thought he could do. We now go into round 2. We tried a couple rounds with doing 2 or a little more helicopters, but each time was a massacre for the modern helicopters, which we decided for this final round to try 8 when going against 30. Let's see how this last round goes. Starting to see this swarm of biplanes coming, the only view that didn't quite work out well for War Thunder's replay system was the cockpit view. Had to do some editing and such to make this work. these planes can start to get closer, the heli team works closely together to knock out as many of the biplanes with their missiles as they can before they can get too close. Let's see if they can keep them at a distance for much longer. A heli team consisting of an AH Mark I Apache, an MI 28N, and four KA 50s, one KA 52, and an AH 64 DJP. And being four minutes in, the modern heli team was already able to hold back 18 biplanes, doing an excellent job keeping the distance. But with the infinite respawns, can they keep it up? Impressively, <laughs> this biplane dodging two of the modern heli missiles at the cost of its own plane though. Biplane team starting to get close enough where the modern helicopter team is having to use their 30mm cannons. featuring the amazing ability of the modern helicopter's missiles here as each one fires is quite easily able to knock out the biplanes one by one. With a little bit of help from the 30mm cannons, when these biplanes tend to get too close it seems to be the fall of where these helicopters can start to fall apart.
now them encountering closer engagements, could this be the end? modern helicopter as it falls to the ground. And with the final score being 57 biplanes down and only three modern helicopters killed, this was quite a round. Hope you all enjoyed this vid. Thank you to my helpers and supporters. You all stay cool and keep flying.